Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to teach you something that I wrote about in the book, and it's how to convert a Microsoft Word file to something that you can use in Google Drive and Google Docs. So here we have our Word file. It's a pretty standard academic paper, uh, pretty standard formatting. You can see page numbers in the middle, there's some footnotes, there's a chart, some other images, and then down below we have some highlighting. And I want to take this file and I want to put it in Google Drive so I can collaborate with it with the other people who are working on the paper. So this is what we do. We go to our browser. This is Google Drive. I've gone to my folder and I'm going to click this button here, this red upload button. This will let me bring in a file that I have on my hard drive and it's right on my desktop. So there it is right there. And now what it's going to do, it's going to import it. So it's, it's uh, uploading it to Google Drive. And then in a minute, we're going to see it listed next to this test file. And there it is. So let me get rid of this box here. And you can see the file. And there's a W next to it because it's a Microsoft Word file. And this is what happens when you click on it. It's actually going to show the Microsoft Word file, but only in view mode. Uh, this means that we can take a look at it and we can scroll through it and read it, but we can't change anything. So here's the file. It looks pretty much the same. There's the charts and all the other bits that I had in there. Um, but when you go to edit, you'll notice that there's no way to actually change anything. So if I wanted to like change this title, highlight it, and I'm pressing delete, it's not going to work. To do that, you have to go to File, Open With, Google Documents. And Google Documents is the program inside of Google Drive that it's basically a word processor. So now what it's doing is it's converting it to the Google Documents format and then I can change it. So the first thing up here, you'll notice this title. Uh, this is actually, it says uh, a dot .doc. It's not a Microsoft Word file anymore. In fact, I'm just going to change it to and erase that so we know it's not a Word file. And then hit OK. And now we can go down and we can see the file. And it looks almost the same. There's a few minor differences. And uh, for, for instance, the page numbering, it shifted, it used to be in the middle, now it's over to the left. And what I've discovered with Google Documents is when you convert a Microsoft Word file, some of the formatting doesn't carry over. It's because of the differences in the way it works. Usually for papers that aren't heavily formatted, it's not a big problem, but you'll notice that if you're using a Microsoft Word file that has, uh, for instance, images in the header or the footer or some special formatting or special fonts, usually they won't uh, translate over. But for most things like letters and simple book reports and things like that, it should be fine. So that's how to convert uh, a micro, uh, Microsoft Word file to Google Docs. As you can see, I can edit things, you can change things, and most importantly, you can use the great features of Google Documents to collaborate, to publish to the web, and perform other functions. If you want to learn more about Google Documents, Google Drive, and how to convert files back and forth, please check out the book, uh, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, or visit the website drivedocsin30minutes.com. Thank you.